one pot wonder of lasagna tastes just as good as its baked counterpart, but you only use one skillet and it takes about a third of the time. After a long day of work, the last thing I really want to do is go home and cook some more, get my kitchen all messy and wait an hour till I have to eat dinner. That is why I love this easy skillet lasagna. It's perfect for those nights when I'm craving comfort food, but I want it fast and now. This recipe is really simple. It starts with a dishwasher safe skillet, and I have it set to a medium high heat. Now here's a little trick. I'm gonna add a couple of slices of bacon to the skillet. Everything tastes better with bacon, but we're actually gonna render the fat of this bacon, and it's gonna flavor up our beef. We don't wanna cook it all the way through, just until it's almost cooked, and then we'll add our ground beef. Now our bacon's about halfway done. This is the perfect time for me to add our ground beef. So all of that beef is just gonna soak up all that bacon flavor. Once your meat is cooked through, you can drain any of that excess fat. Now we use some really lean beef, so we don't have any excess fat. You can go ahead and just use a large spoon to remove it and put it in a can or a jar. All right, so now we're ready to add some flavor to our meat. A little salt and pepper. And then next are our onions and garlic. And we're just gonna cook these until the onions are translucent. Now once this is cooked down a bit, you can add your sauce. And you could totally cheat this part and just add your pre-made sauce. But I like to add some flavor to mine. So to my sauce, I'm gonna add some crushed tomatoes. This adds a really nice fresh tomato flavor. And then to this, we'll add our dried oregano and some red chili flakes for a little heat. Now we're ready to add our water. Anytime you're cooking pasta noodles, you need to make sure that you add enough water or liquid to cook the pasta. This is also gonna thin out our sauce just a little bit. Bring your sauce to a simmer and then you can add the lasagna noodles. You wanna break up your noodles into one to two inch strips. Perfect, just like that. Now before you put the lid on your skillet, you just wanna cover all the noodles in the sauce. And then we're gonna let it cook for 15 minutes or until the noodles are soft. So this means that the noodles are getting cooked and steamed at the same time. Oh wow, look at that. Now once our noodles are cooked, we can add our cheeses. I have a little ricotta and mozzarella, but you could also add some Parmesan Reggiano or burrata. I'm just gonna put some dollops onto the pasta. Mm, yum. And then most importantly, fresh basil. Mm, fresh herbs just make all the difference. You always wanna put them in right when your dish is done or almost done. I'm just gonna tear off some pieces, sprinkle it around. Now I'm just gonna turn the heat off Cover it and let all that cheese melt and come together just for a couple minutes. Then we're ready to serve. Mmm, I cannot wait to try this. You know, one of the reasons why I love this dish is it just reminds me of good old fashioned, easy home cooking. Oh, look at that. And the best part is there's very little cleanup. I can just throw everything into the dishwasher and be done with it and enjoy my food. Mmm, let's get a little bit of that ricotta. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my gosh, that bacon just makes all the difference. This dish is so good. It's creamy, has a little heat from the chili. Oh, savory, I just love this one. I can't wait for you guys to try it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Pop Sugar Food. And I'll see you next time on Get The Dish. Bye.